Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the road famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hinchcliffe. What the fuck is up? It's Monday night. Come on, make some noise, people. We're live. This is the best place you could possibly be on a Monday. Look at that. There's a pregnant lady here. Baby's first Kill Tony. Look at this. Hope she's pregnant. I got that wrong once before. Brian Redband's here, everybody. Yes, you did. Hey, he guys. He also looks pregnant. Hey, I mean, I'm having a baby. He's having a baby. <laughs> this is very exciting. We just flew in today from great times out in Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Columbus. Sold out shows all across the Midwest in giant venues. Thank you to all of you that came out to those. And uh, continues again. That's it for 2020. We did about 52 uh, tour dates this year across the world, including Europe, Australia. But this is it. You're at home base here at the Comedy Store, where it all started six and a half years ago. And now we are the number one live podcast in the world. It continues January 9th, San Antonio, Kill Tony in a stand-up show, Houston, the 10th and 11th. Both of those, all three of those, Kill Tonys with stand-up shows immediately afterwards. Actually, it's stand-up shows and then Kill Tonys. And then, uh, yeah, Vancouver, February 21st. Calgary, January 23rd, with four stand-up shows on the 24th and 25th. Tempe, Arizona, that's just me. That's just stand-up. February 6th, 7th, and 8th. And uh, La Jolla, March 3rd, with stand-up shows March 6th and 7th. We're getting positive feedback from our listeners and from the sound system right now. Kill Tony East. It's about to be announced next week, so keep your ear to the ground on that one. Also, Austin, Texas coming next week. Normally you don't announce a city that announcement's coming, but I want you guys to listen if you were planning on skipping an episode or something wackadoodle like that. Delicious Caveman... Oh, let me say this, is that we did a little experiment this weekend uh, while on the road and we stayed at a Lyric uh, oh, yeah, that was I wouldn't fun. consider it a hotel. It's more of an experience. But they, what Lyric does is they go and they buy giant historical buildings. They remodel them from the inside out. And it's like uh, it's like an Air makes an Airbnb look like an Air POS. You know what I'm saying? It <laughs> yeah. makes, a, makes a hotel seem like a no tell. It was badass, man. That was, was probably one of the best places I ever stayed. I at. agree. It was it was it's a no brainer. If you're in a major city, check out Lyric. Uh, so it was just incredible. One of the cooler things we've ever done. One of the listeners uh, or uh, owners of it, Michael over there, hit us up. Made us a little deal and uh, just to, for us to try it out, and it was mind blowing how great it was. Yeah, cool. It was a, a cu- cool, beautiful destination. A yeah. Cool, beautiful destination. Cool, beautiful destination. CBD. Hey, CBD. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's the holiday season, and Infinite CBD knows how stressful seeing your family can be. Maybe you got to see them or buy gifts for these schmucks you don't even like that were mean to you when you were a kid but now you have to be nice to them well infinite cbd wants to help everyone enjoy the holiday season which is why from now until christmas they're offering our listeners 30 percent off that's right if you use our code tony 15 you're going to be getting 30 percent off this is the sale of the year and you need to stock up so if you need help like going to sleep on a plane you can get the pm pills or gummies if you uh like being awake and listening to your grandfather's stories. Maybe you need some CBD AM pills. Or if you're using uh, your girlfriend's uh, parents' If you need lube, you need CBD lube. Yeah. If you you need... I know. These these things are ridiculous. You can just read. You can just read it. No, these things like if you're in your grandparents' house. Oh, you're going backwards uh, again. All right. Okay. Or if you ate too much and you want to run off the stuffing, but but your knees hurt, Uh freezing point topical cream. Right. Or the great gifts. Just think about what your relatives are always complaining about and get them something that helps with that. Yeah. Whoever like yells the most. Get him the gummies. Yeah. Whoever likes to drink, get him the CBD recovery. Yep. Whoever complains about being sure. in pain, topical creams. Don't buy CBD anywhere else. Infinite CBD offers the cleanest, healthiest, and purest CBD on the market. So once more, for a limited time only, you can get 30% off by going to Infinite CBD and using our code, Tony15. And if you click the link in the episode description, we've got a holiday giveaway pack with over $1,000 in CBD product for a lucky winner. So one more time, 30% off with code Tony15. Click below to enter a $1,000 CBD bundle. Ah, you guys ready to start tonight's show? That's it. We're in it. It's a real podcast, people. That was a real ad read. You got to watch it. You don't get to see Joe Rogan do that in person, do you? Okie dokie. Uh... This is a very exciting episode, as all of them are, but this one's extra special. This guy's been on this show before. It's been way too long. We're so excited to have him back. He's a two-time fighter in the kid champion. He's got this past weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and the only Theo Vaughn, everyone. Come on. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Fuck yeah. He's back. My man. My motherfucking man. The one and only Theo Bond. Papa. Gang, bro. The Rat King is back. We need back. some fucking guns, bro. Gang, gang, indeed. Uh, welcome back, nice Theo. out here. We're so excited to have you back. You're hilarious, of course, on everything, including this past week. And you got Thug Nasty coming on this week, I hear. Is that true? Yeah, we got Thug Nasty, <laughs> young white fella, you know, doing his best. And so <laughs> we got him. I love it. Absolutely. You know what we got here on this show this week is a band. We have a band on this. You guys yep, know about them. this show at all? Every single week, these guys commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. Maybe it's a brand new character we've never seen before. Maybe it's the return of some of their famous characters, like the Milkmen or the Feminists or things like that. Let's all find out what they are tonight together. It's the best damn band in the land, everybody. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Chroma Chris, and Joelberg Joel Jimenez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this? Whoa! We've seen these guys before. These are some of the most famous characters in the history of the show. These are the billionaires. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wait, that's real money. What the fuck? You guys are fucking making it now, huh? And they're rich guys? <laughs> yeah, rich guys. R Reginald? Reginald Fontaine the third. <laughs> Reginald Fontaine. You're a billionaire, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how long how long how'd you make your money? I never asked you that. Immigrants. Oh wow. <laughs> My goodness. That is always a very shoddy mustache you have there for a billionaire. It seems to come off every time you hit your pipe. <laughs> And then who's this young buckaroonie next to you? Is this your brother, uh, Sully Sullenberger? What is this? Uh? <laughs> Roger McWater. <laughs> Roger McWater. <laughs> I invented pogs. Oh, wow. He made all that pog money. Saved it up. And then clearly back here we have the uh, Mexican Monopoly guy. Um, <laughs> this is exciting. What's your name? Do not pass go. Do <laughs> not collect $200, you broke bitch. <laughs> The name is Timothy Burgington. <laughs> Timothy. I founded Tapatio Hot Sauce. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Timothy Burgington in the house. These guys have been on before. Last time we this saw... This is my man slave. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> there he is. Look at that guy. Wow. There he goes. That's David Deary, everybody, putting a fake $100 bill in his pocket like it's real. Now, Reginald Fontaine III, last time you were on this show, it was a legendary episode. It was Dallas, Texas. I remember very clearly you got kicked in the head from a kung fu guy that tried to kick a bottle off your head. And I sued him for every penny <laughs> he was worth. <laughs> I've never heard of kung fu. <laughs> Wait, what? You call it... You call it Kong Fu. I've never heard of that. Yes, like from the Congo. Kong Fu. <laughs> okay, okie dokie. <laughs> Thank you for the help, Just play guys. The drums, bitch. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's actually, that's actually, for those of you that don't know, you couldn't know because we were on the road when it happened, but that's actually a, the newest. We have two new sound effects that have been added to the soundboard. That is my mother who decided to uh, make a sound effect for when Joel on drums says something that isn't funny. Just play the drums, bitch. That's just play the drums, bitch. And then my, uh, my stepfather, Pat, who is just a wholesome, good gentleman, doesn't know abs He knows nothing about comedy or anything like that, but he likes to make fun of people when a joke isn't funny, and that's this one. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> well, that was a good one, so that's after something that isn't funny. So there's a little, came back from a little something from Youngstown, Ohio, where uh, we went to my father's Italian restaurant, ate spaghetti at my mom's place twice on two different days, and uh, we celebrated Jeremiah Watkins' birthday uh, yesterday and <laughs> set up a little surprise party for him. Four different types of ice cream from Delicious Handles Ice Cream. Uh, you, so let's get it. We got everything here. We got Red Band, Theo, the billionaires, and it brings me to this, the Bucket of Destiny, everybody. A bunch of comedians signed up for the chance for the opportunity to get up at the Mecca, the greatest stage of them all, the main room of the comedy store. If I pull your name out of the bucket, that means you get 60 seconds uninterrupted to do whatever you want. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. 
There you go. So wrap it up then, because you don't want to bring that thing out. You guys ready to start the show or what? Yes. After that, after that 60 seconds, you stay on stage. We interview you. We talk with you about your real life, find out more about you, what you could be talking about, or what else is going on in your life. Or maybe we talk with you about your set or what you look like, perhaps, or something But don't like they that. do bad almost every time or not? Hey, it's you never know. How many of you yeah. like it when comedians do good on this show? Yeah. How many of you like it when comedians do bad on the show? <laughs> with no further ado, the show will begin with the comedy stylings of Ashley Kelly. Here we go, Ashley Kelly. You gotta yell for Ashley Kelly in that lobby. David Deary. Ashley Kelly. Where, where, from where? Over there or back there? Okay, so they're getting her. We have to fly her from Epstein's Island. <laughs> have you ever been to Epstein's Island? <laughs> 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 you guys just laugh like that? No, I'm coming, you idiot. <laughs> wow. This guy's having flashbacks. David Derry, we need you to really be on the ball on this thing. I don't know what's happening while you're walking at an audience member's pace just through the back of the room and whatnot. But uh, you said someone's getting her, but now you're going that way. So how, how, how could that be? And who is it? It's, it's, it's Ashley <laughs> Kelly. But David, what makes you say they're getting her if you went that way? There she is. Here she comes, Ashley Kelly, everybody. Here we go. The show has begun. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, hey, hi. Um, <laughs> I think that stale pussy smells like Cool Ranch Doritos. I know I'm right, too, you guys. I know I'm right. I feel like I noticed because I was in the seventh grade, and I was like, oh, you're supposed to change your underwear or else it smells like Cool Ranch Doritos, I just ran so far. <sighs> uh, there's money everywhere. Okay. <laughs> also, nothing's gross about that. Pussy's good. Doritos are good, so I don't know what your guys' problem is. <sighs> um, my dad just got the Apple Watch, and it keeps telling him to stand up at the end of every hour. Uh, for most people, that reminds them they're lazy. For my dad, it just reminds me he's paralyzed. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, oh, I think that um, anal is a really good reason to fart in the morning and still be sexy. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, there you go, here. Ashley Kelly. My goodness. <laughs> Hell yeah! Look at that. Hey. A breathtaking performance by Ashley Kelly. I dropped a vodka Sprite outside, and I'm so sorry to the door guys. Wow. No, the only one offended by that would be Brian Redman, okay. everybody. Why don't you uh, waste it? He hates a good waste. Yeah, he drinks a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Do you have to, you, you are out of breath. What's yep. going on with you? I thought there was going to be a list coming out, and I, uh, I didn't check the time. I'm awful. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep, I was outside, and then someone was like, yeah, they just called your name. Right. And then I basically was dumping my vodka Sprite all over my body as I ran, and then I set it down and it fell. And Why did you do Is that like a tradition or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my family, you get paralyzed and you throw vodka. No, I'm just kidding. You oh, smoke? Yeah, yeah. You a smoker? Uh, I vape. You vape? Yeah. Uh -huh. You are out of breath like a motherfucker. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't understand. I understand that you ran. It's but mostly it the nerves. It really wasn't the running, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. So if you were sitting right there and y we called your name, you'd be this out of breath? Oh. Are you no. Darth Vader's daughter All right, or something like that? What the fuck's going on? Part yeah. running, part nerves. All right. What PSI is that vape? Because <laughs> it sounds like it's 5%. Hitting. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. All right, Cardio Please don't B. make me quit jeweling. I'm okay. No, uh. it's okay. Very good. You stepped on the great joke that I made. But, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I called you Cardio B because you're, you're so unhealthy. Do you go in the mountains a lot? Uh, almost never. No. Yeah. You ever, uh, no. you ever, you ever do Runyon or anything like that? 
Um, yeah, I like to run. I haven't ran, though, in probably like a year. To what? A vending machine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Timothy <You look> Burkington. <laughs> Timothy Burkington coming out guns. I'll buy like this bitch right now. <laughs> <laughs> How much you look like you work at the Hot Topic in Alaska. <laughs> Uh oh, shit! She's she's losing. Oh, a layer please here. put it back on. Put it back on. <laughs> it's paying her. <laughs> That's real money. This is a there. reverse strip club kind of ordeal. <laughs> I think you look I'm nice. I'm still wearing a lot of. So layers. Ashley, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Two years. Two years. Where at? Here. Um, uh, Orange County. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from Vegas originally. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then uh, I was in Portland for a couple of months when I first started, but mm -hmm. mostly Orange County and a what little. What do you LA. do for work? I'm a bartender. Oh. Waitress. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Um, I've been waitressing for like six years and then bartending for like a year. Hmm. Do you think you'll always do it or do you think you're going to get into something else eventually or do you think? Well, hopefully comedy like, you will really about? kick it off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Bartend. <laughs> bartend and comedy is my plan. What do you like to do for fun when you're not bartending or doing comedy? Any fun uh, hobbies or uh, um, things that you like to do? Yeah, ideas or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I was a jazz major originally, so I played the trumpet. Ooh. And uh, some piano, guitar. Oh. Garage really? band. Really? You play guitar? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. What do you know how to play on guitar? Anything good? Chords, just chords, really. Any I don't songs? Know. I could do one song. What's the song? It's like a classical song my grandpa taught me. Oh. Is it about slavery? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the good old Maybe. classics. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't play it here anymore, if it is. It could be about it. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. What's your love life like? You got a boyfriend? Someone that, uh, some uh, breathtaking boyfriend or something um, like that? Some I have a boyfriend, yes. Uh -huh. Things get hot and heavy? Yeah. Uh, how long you been with this guy? Uh, it's debatable, because... He had a girlfriend before me. Ooh, look at you. So a little fucking side piece. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, we know you're always available. You're never going for a jog I'm or anything like that. I'm not a side like piece. Oh, yeah. Not anymore. You're the main piece yeah. now. You got upgraded. Yep. <laughs> that entree, mama. Hell yeah. <laughs> How you long? did it. You did it. Thank you. Yeah, I won, actually. Yeah, I won. He's a good guy? He is now. Amen. Ooh, no. <laughs> damn. How long were you with him when he was still with his girlfriend? How long were you oh, in that position? It's pretty bad. Come on. A it's year <laughs> and a half. Damn, look at you. You dirty, dirty wow. girl. I, I I'm stopped, coming again. So a bunch of times in between that. I wasn't, you know. You wait a bunch of times in between that what? Like I would stop. I was Yeah. I broke up with him every Saturday for like a whole year. <laughs> right, yeah. So look at you. How oh, much wow. Lizzo do you listen to? <laughs> <laughs> Ni uh None. None. All right. There you go. It took a little while to get that answer out of you. I but, don't know uh, what he said. Nizzo? I L said, how much Lizzo do you listen to? Why men great till they got to be great? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> wow. Ashley, is there anything else crazy we should know about you? Any fun facts about you or the way you were uh, raised or about I your I was life? on the show before. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, but so I told you about my dad being sketchy. My dad told me if I get on the show again... To tell everybody that he's not in the mafia, not that anybody remembers this. Right. But I told you a story about my dad bought a farm when I was a kid. Uh huh. And then everybody on the farm died. Uh huh. <laughs> well, Ashley, you know, we forgot all about that, but now everyone thinks your dad's in the mafia, so. <laughs> well, that plan. Is it your real father, is it? It's sh yeah, my real father. Oh, that's yes. great. My yeah. <laughs> you don't see that much. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I know. I don't know anybody whose father definitely has mafia connections. I would never. Uh, I would never uh, admit to anything like that if I did. He yeah, and you says he's not in the mafia, though. That's very important. You Absolutely. believe him? No. no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I don't think he is now. He's paralyzed. You know. So. How do you get paralyzed? A car accident. Uh, Jimmy, no legs. <laughs> <laughs> Where was he sitting in the car? Was he driving or passenger? He was driving by himself from oh, California, kind of, or yeah, from California to Vegas on like the 15, oh. and then the tread came off his tires and his car flipped like mm. 15 times. Oh my god! And yeah, he broke his neck like in a bunch of places or whatever. He's uh, in the hospital for like a whole year or something. Wow! How old were you when that happened? Eight. 
eight mm. years old. Yeah. Do you remember him coming back like in a like and like oh what's going on? No. Like you I, know what I'm uh, saying or being like kind of different or yeah. seeming different when he yeah, came home. Yeah, my dad. He, my dad was actually he was like in the Olympics and shit for discus. I also threw the oh. discus. Wow. Um, and well, I don't anymore, but I did. You, uh, you look like you have a good build for throwing discus. Thank you. Yeah, you should see my farm. Because it really throw. Oh wait, whatever. Fuck it. Okay. okay. Yeah, or throwing some other girl's dick in your <laughs> puss, huh? <laughs> like you did with that guy. What's his name? I'm good at throwing stale relationships away. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Is his name Ronald? Is that your max? Your your man's name? Can we call him Ronald? Is yeah. that cool? Let me ask you this. Now that he's yours and yours only, is uh-huh. a little of, uh, honestly, is a little bit of the excitement taken away for a girl like you that a year and a half you No, because I'm still so worried he's going to cheat on me. Yeah, so you it's should very be. very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely should be. Yeah, he's like, th- he's like, I don't know, I'm getting sort of sick of Ashley. Yeah. Oh, uh, but you should hear how hard she breathes when she's sleeping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? It seemed like you had something you wanted to say there. Um, oh, but... Uh, What was it going to be? What were you going to say? Um, oh, but my dad. <laughs> Go ahead. Just plow forward. We're talking about your father. I'm still proud of that minute. I made it through. I was very far away. Uh huh. Okay. Ashley hey Kelly, everybody. Father. There she goes. Ashley <laughs> Kelly. On to the next one. As the great Jay-Z once said. On to the next one. All right. Fuck yeah. You guys having fun yet? You understand how the show works? Oh, there we go. At least we got that. Uh, okay. Show rolls on. Your next comedian goes by the name of Ryan Joseph, everybody. We've seen him before. Here he is, Ryan Joseph. I was uh, bullied as a kid. Every morning they would spin my food and call me a fag. I hated being homeschooled. (laughs) My girlfriend said, Ryan, I think I'm bulimic. I was like, maybe you're just stressed out about how fat you are. (laughs) Don't you guys hate it when you're at the gym and like a pretty girl's sweating all over the machine. She sees you waiting and then she just wipes it down. It's like, why do you think I came here? <laughs> my, mom, my mom likes to talk about how painful it was when she breastfed me, even though she was the one that made me get braces. <laughs> we were really close. Um, we even got drunk together a couple times, but we grew apart when I was born. Ryan Joseph, you did it again. Holy shit. Wow. This is his second time on this show. This is your second time murdering. How's it going, Ryan? It's going good. I'm actually uh, nervous. I got a piece of like uh, nicotine uh, mint in my mouth, and it's just like ramping up my heartbeat. I'm going to take it out. Uh huh. How much vodka and soda did you spill all over yourself on the way here tonight? Uh, she passed by me, but she didn't spill any on me. It's all good. She breathes fast. Welcome back, Ryan. <laughs> Welcome back, pal. Uh, so, uh, how do you feel? How, how are things going? Uh, is that how you expected that set to go? Uh, yeah. Um, I like to write jokes really tight. So, no matter how I feel, um, I know they'll, pr- they'll land, usually. There you go. Remind us, how long you been doing stand-up? It'll be a year in February. So wow. Only months. one year, and this is it. This is the birth of a star. A star is born. Somebody call Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, because a star is born. All right. Um, so Ryan, remind us, what do you do for work? I'm an instructional designer. Uh-huh. I just, like, build courses on a computer. Oh, that's right. You yeah. do the uh, voiceovers for, what was it again? No, no, it's not uh, voiceovers. It's, like, if someone has to take, like, a sexual harassment course uh-huh. when they start, I build that for them. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Well, I built it for the, the company that needs to give their employee the sexual harassment course. And do you put, like, bonus questions or anything on it? Like, what do you... Is there, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is there... How do you win it? Like, how, how, you know, is there a chance to redeem yourself if you haven't been doing well? That's what I mean. 
yeah, I, I usually ask them, like, so what happens if they fail? And they're like, just let them take it again. Damn. Right. <laughs> I, once had awesome. to, really I once had to take one of those for a speeding ticket. <laughs> it was like the dumbest thing ever. They're like, you have to take this course, and if you, for some reason you get anything wrong, you just do it again and answer the other answer. And it's like, you passed. Congratulations. You yeah. Know. Literally. It's just, it's just to, like, cover their ass. It's all for right. Yeah, it's them. legalities. Yeah. So, but whatever. It's pretty easy, and you can do it from home. Uh-huh. And stuff, so you just sit on your computer. I can do, <laughs> really? yeah, I can d- yeah. You just like do it, and then you send it to them. And what does an average wow. day for Ryan Joseph look like from beginning to end? You wake up around what time? Yeah, be w- honest, please. Yep, I wake up like at six usually. Wow, what do yeah. you get? What do you what, what do you do at six? I uh, make coffee. You could just keep going instead of me saying then what. Just keep going. <laughs> Make coffee. I make I make coffee and then I I try to write at least like twenty or thirty minutes. Uh-huh. Um, then you know I get ready and my girlfriend will come out and uh, yell at me for something. Wow! Come out of what? Like come out yeah. of where? Yeah, I, I, the I way work, you said it, you work. made it seem like it's like some kind of pro wrestling entrance. Like music <laughs> starts and yeah. just confetti. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, what did she come out of? You mean come out of the room? You guys live together? Yeah, yeah, we okay. live together. Okay. She'll come out of the bedroom. Um, sometimes she's nice. <laughs> and then um, I'll talk to her. She likes to talk in the morning. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. It's just like, I, I'm a morning person, and she just wants to talk to me. Right. You like, can pay them to not do that, you know. Then <laughs> 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 she talks to you, and then what? Um, she'll go to work or <laughs> I'll go to work or I'll decide to like work from home or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then when you get home, then you're done with work and then what do you do? You get in your car? I, uh, no, I, I sold my car before I moved here. Uh-huh. So I just Uber everywhere. Uh-huh. And, um, I'll go to some open mics or if I have a show, I'll go do that. Straight from work? Yeah. Sometimes like here, I'll go straight from work and, uh, come out all the way here, usually not to get picked. And, uh. Sit there with, like, the line of, like, 200 comics and just walk away and cry. Yeah. Well, that's how the other 195 people feel, too. Yeah. I know all the pain. Well, there you go. Look at you. My goodness. You remind me of uh, the losing side of the Confederate soldiers, like, right after <laughs> right after they lost. Just, like, real sad about it. Just yeah, real. I, just, I can see him on there. Yeah. 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 Has anybody ever told you you look like a kind-hearted racist? <laughs> yeah. 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 So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ryan, how long have you been with this girlfriend that you're with? Um like eighteen months. Eighteen months, man. You're down to the fucking month. Look at you. It's mm-hmm. cool, man. Yeah, you're in it. Yeah. Do you guys love each other? Yeah, I, I love her. I love her. That's cool, bro. Fuck. How long have you li- how <laughs> How long it is, you? man. It's hard to do, bro, to love well, somebody. Yeah, because it's like I'm obsessed with comedy and writing, and she wants me to do stuff like like talk to her. Yeah. Go, go to Target. They always want to go to Target, yeah. right? Yeah, look at her. Yeah. Set one of your go hands on her back like that for a minute. Yeah. It's like don't, I have a vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you, though. <laughs> I fucking feel you, bro. Yeah. I really do, dude. So it's That's difficult. crazy, man. It's I can't difficult. believe that we don't even fucking, we've never even talked before. I know. <laughs> I can't. Are you, are you, where are you from again? I'm from Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm yeah. Origi- yeah. A couple uh-huh. map owners over there. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm originally from Florida, but I have family from like. Oh, yeah. Mississippi. And Mississippi north, is definitely. North uh, Florida. So like Jacksonville and stuff. Yeah, People I fuck indoors and outdoors over yeah. there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Your dick works everywhere there. Yeah. No We're matter the zoning, you know? Yep. Have you ever had sex with your girlfriend anywhere uh, out of the ordinary, out of the bedroom? Um. Yeah, I guess. Like somewhere. where? <laughs> um. Actually, no. With her, it's been... You, when I was younger, it was more like doing shit like that. Like... Behind a church or something. Ooh, behind yeah. a church. Have yeah. you ever had a hand job in a Rolls Royce before? <laughs> <laughs> no. I highly recommend it. <laughs> how about you? Uh, how about you, Timothy Burgington? Craziest place you've had sex? In the butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Elian <laughs> Gonzalez, bro? Who the fuck is that? 
I stole that from a Family Feud clip <laughs> on YouTube. It was it was even older than Family Feud, my friend. That I believe that is the match game from the seventies. That's one of the oldest. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm too clips. young to know that. <laughs> I'm only six years old. <laughs> oh my <That> god. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah, it, it is. Real. In yeah. the butt, Roger. All right. Well, Ryan, uh, you had uh, you've had a great set every time you've been on this show. So much fun, incredible to watch. I can't wait to see a new minute from you. There he goes, Ryan Joseph. He's on social media at Real Ryan Joseph. All one word. Real Ryan Joseph. Fuck yeah. Here we go. He did a Deary, good job, he, huh? What's that? He did a good job. Yeah, he's great. He did great last time. It too. makes you Very forget about that girl that went first quickly, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It does, though. You don't want to, you don't really forget about her, but it makes you kind of just. <laughs> just barely hope that she's doing okay, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she's gone, man. She's out there trying to fucking. Make sure her boyfriend's not cheating on her. <laughs> Pulled another name out. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Eric James, everyone. Eric James. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Shout out to those of you watching live on YouTube from around the world. Some technical difficulties tonight, so shout out to you for standing by us. One more time for Eric James, everyone. So, face fucking. I only got one minute, so I gotta go hard. No pun intended. Uh, can nobody, is this thing on? There we go. Okay. So, face fucking is a great pastime of mine. Uh, I've been watching a lot of porn lately. Uh, I stumbled across face fucking, and now I'm addicted to it. I uh, really enjoy face fucking. Um, the only problem with face fucking is most girls don't like to do it. So I'm kind of trapped in finding the right one. Uh, but I figured it out. I have the solution now. I only date bulimic women. They don't seem to mind it. Uh, in fact, when I'm really horny... I'll just take a girl to the Cheesecake Factory, max out my credit card, and then take her home and do it all night. All right. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Face fucking. Sorry. So sorry. My God. Sorry, everybody. I apologize. It's apologizing immediately. <laughs> Eric, on everything you do... You have to talk into the microphone. That's how it works. It's it a whole, there's a whole, be uh, louder. it's a crazy thing. I've never seen anyone pull the old, is this thing on? <laughs> yeah. 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 I've never actually seen that in real life before. This is yeah. the first time. You actually yeah. use that to your advantage. You spent the first 20 seconds of your set talking about how you only had a minute to uh, perform. <laughs> A rare maneuver. We don't see that that often. Super nervous. Yeah, no, that's good. How long have you been doing stand-up? This is my very first time. His very first time, everybody. Coming out guns a blazing with face-fucking material. Hell yeah. You made a couple ladies in the room actually gag just from your jokes. So that's incredible. That's how much you love face-fucking. Uh, so let's talk about it. How real is this? Have you ever actually fucked a girl's face before? You seem like you're yes. into more like slitting their throats and something <laughs> like that. I've dabbled. Uh huh. In what? Face fucking. Is that true? It's true. Okay. But I feel like long, you're the. Do you do it for a long time? I, I've. Everybody's done it a little, right? And so it's like. <laughs> well, you can only do it as long as they'll let you. Yeah, you can't do it forever. You can just do it. You just kind of do it, and then you stop doing it pretty quick. Right. I actually, I make love to faces. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> it's even dirtier. <laughs> my goodness. So, Eric, uh, this is your first time on stage. How old are you? 40. 30. 40. You're 40, 40 dude? My goodness. On two, last Tuesday. 
Turned what? 40 last Tuesday. Bro, Mike. look at him. Look at his face. Mine. I know. He's got that fucking... Your bro. face is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> There's Joel Berg. Come on, people. He, that was a good one. Dude, you look young, brother. Huh? Look at him. Look at this rich man, dude. Yeah. He looks young, doesn't he? Yeah. You got Very a real... You got a real uh, you fucking young. Bro. You got a real hitchhiker face on you. You Eric. you look yeah. like you stole your clothes from a cholo's yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an extra from that two billboards outside of whatever movie. Uh, <laughs> what? Just for a few people that saw that movie, it's a two billboards outside of somewhere. Blibbity blop. I think you. Uh, I think. Uh, fuck your four. Yeah, I can't. What is you? <laughs> I, 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 I. You're 1979. Wow, man. Look very young, dude. I think you should do get into something that's for young people that, you know, like a young sport, like a young sport or something. Yeah, absolutely. There's sports for people like you. It's uh, like bocce <laughs> or something like that. Child yeah. pageants. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Scarier and scarier <laughs> as the interview goes on. But you like scaring people, don't you? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. People Just that com- hard, people that right? comb their hair back like that love scaring people. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, every day you get to look right in the mirror and fucking be strategic with that shit. <laughs> so Eric, let's talk about it. What do you do for work? I'm an operations manager for a rental car company. So super boring. Wow, rental car company. My goodness, that's fun. A so if you have car insurance. For the most part, do you really have to buy the insurance from? Are you just screwing us? So we're just gonna bore everybody? No, I mean like I think that's like a a, a legit question. You just fill out a piece of paper and you don't have to worry about it ever again. Talking to the tip of the microphone, Uh, Eric. You fill out a piece of paper and then you never have to worry. You pay fourteen dollars a day. I don't like your fucking attitude. Yeah, yeah, why? So sorry, I don't get this. Yes, why did you turn into the the Allstate guy as soon as you started quoting insurance? (laughs) So it makes sense. It's smart. You can total the car and fill out a piece of paper and walk I don't away. like your condescending tone. I know. You do. Jeez. You know, it's boring. I do it all What's day. something that happened at years. the work one time, like a wild adventure that you guys had at the at work? Yeah. <laughs> Buddy. I mean, it's a pretty boring job. Again, you don't have to say the answers are boring. You say the answer, and we'll make it interesting. Yeah. Just tell your, the truth. Y- your answer's boring. So every but we're day, not boring. Every day in the rental car industry, you just screw over like 90% oh, of the people that There come. we go. Now <laughs> oh we're yes. fucking talking. Now we're getting something yeah. out of you. Look at that. How? We're paying like $13 <laughs> a day. <laughs> That's what they say, but then they throw in all that extra yeah. shit, all that dirt ball fucking uh, taxes and whatnot, right? What's well, the wildest Utah, thing? Utah, so you never get... Like, if you order a sedan, you're just going to get an SUV or a pickup truck. Dude, I'll tell you what we did one time. So we had a dent in a car or vehicle or whatever you guys call them. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And, dude, we caught a couple of pigeons and got them to shit over the dent. Oh, you just held the pigeon over there? You yeah. kept feeding it? Squeezed it a We didn't feed them. They'll shit pretty soon after you hold them. <laughs> and we turned it in, and when it had this kind of, you know, a... Uh, Kind of a just a shit finish, I guess, on it. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't see the dent. They didn't see the damage, you know. Smart. So that's kind of an old school thing, I guess, or new school. <laughs> but Most I would like to hire you as a man with your <laughs> set of skills, Theo Vaughn. <laughs> so Fuck Eric, uh, when you're Look not at that uh, when woman you're next to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, that's my fun. wife. Lay off. <laughs> I know it is. Fucking Bartles and Janet. I know that's your lady, <laughs> bro. I'm just saying she's pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. Got beautiful eyes. Fuck yeah. I've always wanted a fuck a chick that looks like Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. It'll cost you. <laughs> Silent but deadly Chroma Chris over there. So, Eric, when you're not doing rental car shit, what have you been doing with your life up until this point? Give us some fun facts. Face the audience. You're, you're, you're oh, sorry. Yeah. I, uh, I like video games. Really? Hanging out with my friends, yeah. What do, I, you, what do you do when you hang out with your friends? <laughs> Reginald? Go to bars sure. to I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you may have outgrown video games and face fucking. <laughs> <laughs> never too old for face so what else do you what have you been doing you're 40 years old tell us about your life Eric come on there must be some fun fact you once you have the record for like a field goal or something like that back where you're from you ever been to prison nope 
Oh, not yet. Not yet. All right. <laughs> uh huh. Anything in your life ever happened to you in 40 years? Bounced around the country a lot, born in New York, moved to Denver, moved to Seattle, moved to here. Why'd you move so much? Um, my dad's job. Your dad's job? Yeah. What does your dad do? He worked for Delta. Oh, what did he do for Delta? He was in reservations. Reservations? So he's an uh, Indian. <laughs> wow. Is he still alive? He is. Where does he live now? Utah. You close with him? Yeah. Is he proud of you? Sure. Sure? Yes, yeah. his father's proud of him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right? Sorry, Tony. I should no, say that's that okay. No, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Maybe he's not, but... <laughs> But I think he is, probably. He how, is. How about your mom? Where's your mom in all of this? She's dead. Oh, oh the old oh. dead mom Jenkins over go, here. Huh? You got the old uh, case of the old dead mom. Just follow dead mom. What happened to her? Uh, diabetes. Oh. oh. Wow. The sugar, they call it in That's some places. Right. <laughs> it's all sweet until it's not anymore. That's what they Dude, call that. Bro, my uncle died of diabetes. They played uh, Pour Some Sugar on Me at his funeral. How Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, bro. <laughs> and some people think, oh, that's not a good joke. That is fucking still a good joke. <laughs> that's great. No, that's hilarious. They really did, man. It's crazy, bro. I bet your mom had some sweet tits. <laughs> <laughs> My mom had the smallest tits, dude. I had to breastfeed off them. You know how hard it is and how much neuroses you... Uh, fucking watching a baby suck on a fucking... Just a little... F- Flat little tit, bro. <laughs> you must have been just starving. my whole life, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You're fucking your whole life. You're fucking edgy. There's nothing available. Right. You want more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so Eric. Um. Uh. Wow. How old were you when she died? Uh, it was 2007. So math. Right. Oh. Yeah. 13 years ago. Interesting wow, stuff. That was a lot faster than I could do it. Yeah. Well, it was actually 12. I fucked up. But, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? I didn't want to try. It's yeah. all good. I believe well, that. we're proud of you for getting up here, That's man. That's right. Your yeah. first I time ever on Thank stage. You. Eric James, ladies and Thanks gentlemen. Everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. A hand for the band, everybody. Look at them over here. Most most podcasts don't even have a band. We have the best damn band in the land. Your next comedian goes by the name of Brandon Biederstadt. Brandon Biederstadt. Here he comes. Here we go. Here comes Brandon Biederstadt. He's very excited. Big smile on his face. Come on, everybody. One more time for Brandon. What's up, everybody? I'm uh, I'm going through a breakup for this set. Yeah, have any of you guys ever been dumped before? Yeah. Wow, then you know what my ex-girlfriend feels like because I dumped that bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's a pretty standard breakup. Right now, we're dividing the sex toys. <laughs> No, she wants the vibrator. I just want the dog. (laughs) We liked it rough. I thought about not saying that. I shouldn't have. (laughs) uh, I'm dating a new... I've been fucking a new girl, and I thought that would never happen, but we were having sex the other night, and the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in the bedroom happened. She called out another guy's name during sex and that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me because I've never came that quickly <laughs> wow Brandon Beaters I wish I hadn't done that either there let's go, go. Woo! absolutely fuck yeah you did both good and bad at the same time that was incredible that was the most laughs for a bomb I've ever gotten. <laughs> ah, well, there you go. Yeah. You would know. You would know how many yeah, laughs yeah. you've gotten while bombing. Uh, let's check in with Reginald. Yes, I must know. Uh, did you regret the humping vigorously at the end? Because that was my favorite part of the set. 
Did I do that? Yeah, <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah, okay. It was embarrassingly long. <laughs> I dumped that bitch. It's Brandon. Dumped her. Brandon, how it long you been doing? It seems to work every time. How long you been doing stand-up comedy? Two years, baby. Oh, Jesus. Wow. You s- Last time I was up here, I was very low energy. I'm trying to find a middle. Yeah, we'll find the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to find the middle, or you think you've gone too far? Is this a little Goldilocks situation, maybe, you think, huh? Flappers, huh? Toning it down, Tony. Let's go. What do you do for work? I second AD. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah, if you live here, you know what that means. If you don't, I'm sorry. That was pretentious. I am an assistant director. Yep. Okay. Very good. And uh, what do you? Uh, what else do you do? You li- you're from LA originally? No, I'm from a small town in Iowa, home of Maytag washers and dryers. Wow. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Uh huh. Now I understand all the gyrating motions that you yeah. do unnecessarily <laughs> while you're on stage. You, you you may tag any of the jokes that you have at any point if you want to. Seems like you move on pretty quickly. Reginald? I'm just curious once again. Is anybody, when you say the may tag fact, like, oh, wow. <laughs> like there's not another thing about Iowa that might be more. If there are any whirlpool motherfuckers in here, I'll take them on right now. But no, may tag, let's go. All right, I'm bombing just by association with you right now. Yes, absolutely you are. There you go. Asking the tough questions, Reginald Fontaine. So, uh, Brandon, how long have you lived in Los Angeles? I've been here for five years. Uh, the last time we were on I Did Kill Tony, we were talking about my Peruvian girlfriend and her chimichangas. Okay. It never goes well to bring it that up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Theo, okay. Theo. What part of Peru is your girlfriend from? Yeah. Lima. Uh-huh. That's Yep. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about this guy, Theo? What are your thoughts on him over what here? What do I think about him? <laughs> I think he definitely. Ha- I think he has a good heart, but I think also. <laughs> <laughs> but he's done some people dirty in his life, and <laughs> and I don't know if he'll ever get over it. Wow. <laughs> is is he pretty spot on here, Brandon? That cut deep. Heck yeah. Can you give us an example of when you did someone dirty? Recently, I got blackout drunk at a holiday party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was definitely recent. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe last night. Yeah, with, it was within like 24 hours. Yeah. yeah, what happened there? They've told me that I threw up in the middle of the floor. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. The floor is so big. <laughs> I picked the middle. Yeah. What kind of holiday party? Where was it? College humor, the, my dream job. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So did you get it? <laughs> 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 I, I would like to try something. After every boring thing you say, can you say, I dumped that bitch, and then do the hip thing? I don't think that would work. I dumped that bitch! <laughs> oh, it works. It works. That's incredible. That's a mind yep. blowing. Okay. <laughs> the women don't like it, I don't think. <laughs> Some of them do. $10,000 for the first man to kill this person on stage. He's trying to pay him to kill himself. That might actually work on Brandon. Let's see. Cheer my name, yeah. Well <laughs> you seem like Christian Leitner a little bit. Does anybody ever tell you that? Nope. That is true. I can, I'm going to write I that down so I don't forget that. <laughs> I, I get those vibes from you, too. Uh, is drinking a thing that you do a lot? You yes, might have it a, is. You might have a problem with it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I got a drinking problem from my parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. My mom, she had a hard time deciding if I should be breastfed or bottle fed. So she just breastfed me while she was on the bottle. Hey! I dumped that bitch! <laughs> that would have, uh, that would have destroyed... You had it. You let, you let him steal My your hero. own fucking yeah. punchline on that one. That was all you. Yeah. He told you to do it, and then you let him have it. That's crazy, oh, Brandon. <laughs> you dumb well, a Mexican a taking a white guy's job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You ever, uh, you ever talk with your mom about your drinking problem? Oh, yeah, all the time when we're drunk. 
You guys drink together? Oh, yeah, and we do coke together, too. Is that true? Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let uh, Theo take over here. I this do. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh... Theo! You rang, brother? <laughs> My favorite drink was Coke, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Serious, dog. My, My favorite dad. drink is fucking cocaine, dude. Dude, when I was young, I used to get liquor. I'd get gin liquor and pour it in the bathtub, lay in there until it fucking absorbed into my body about a half inch. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so. Yeah, I, uh, I found out my parents do Coke when they started buying it from me. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's How did Damn. that happen? They noticed I was, like, more hyper than right now, and they were like, hey, man, you either got to stop or got to start selling it. Wow. <laughs> I think the problem is that you actually sold it to them. Yeah. You could have said no. I <laughs> made a lot of money. <laughs> I didn't give them great prices. You know? Yeah. <laughs> $20,000. Up the ante for you to kill yourself. This is un an unheard of deal. $20,000. Cash to kill yourself right now on stage <laughs> with this sword, right? Hey, well, however, he, I think uh, is there. It's up to Reginald, really. He's the money man here. How do you want him to kill himself? Asphyxiation. Yeah, asphyx that, that's what the, that's how the rich people like yeah. it. As this, I've done plenty of choking. Thank you, though. I dumped and then that, I dumped bit. that oh, bit. Wow. All right, Dober, come on. All right, Brandon, we're gonna keep it moving on. There yeah, goes Brandon thanks, Biederstad, guys. everybody. He's on social media, Biederstad, B E A D E R S T A D T, Biederstad, just the last name. Hell yeah! Wow. Hey, David Deary, try restarting the uh, internet router. Can you hear that, David? Jesus fucking Christ. We have the worst production team here on this show. It's just you don't unbelievable. Have to say that, but These guys, they start the show, and then they go out on the sidewalk, and they introduce themselves to people like, yeah, I'm the producer of the sold-out show going on inside right now. What's up? Yeah. It's literally what they do. A bunch of morons. It's hilarious. They try to find other jobs while this one's happening. Yeah, yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. But so name, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Put your hands together for CJ Landry, everyone. Oh, here he is. Hey. Money. Money, 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 money. Bum, bum, bum. Money. Here he is, CJ Landry. What's up? I'm uh, happy to be here. I'm from South Louisiana. So I uh, grew up around a lot of domestic violence. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh there was so much domestic violence in South Louisiana it was even in some of the phrases that we used. Like one of the phrases was jambalaya is so good make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> and my mom was a really good cook, so my dad beat the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh went to Catholic school for a little while down there and uh I don't know how much you know about Catholic school in the deep south, but it's basically like going to a boot camp for a cult. <laughs> and uh, I'm left-handed, so Sister Ann saw me writing with my left hand. She said, boy, are you writing with your left hand? And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, son, that means you've been touched by the devil. <laughs> Which was bullshit because it wasn't the devil, it was Father Jacobs. <laughs> he made me left-handed. He preferred the left. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. C.J. Landry. Beautiful performance. This is your second time on the show, is that right? Yeah, second time. I remember your last time you were having trouble getting over your girlfriend, and you kept uh, the yeah. T-shirt that you got from her that was keeping you connected with her, and we cut it up to end the episode. Burned of, uh, that bitch, Kill too, Tony. didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we lit it on fire. Almost burned the comedy store down. That was yeah. great. For a second, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Are yeah. you still thinking about her right now? Uh, Okie dokie. No. Nope. So anyway, uh, did you notice? Now I am. Did, yeah, you, did you notice that after that, that it helped uh, you get over her a little bit? Now yeah, I mean, it was kind of something I was carrying around. I think it was just because it was, uh, I don't know. It was just it was just in my car. I moved here and I had took all my shit and that was one of the things I took. So honestly, should have threw it away when I moved. But. Right. Exactly. But now we took care of that for you. Yeah. You moved here just a few months ago, right? Yeah, three From months Texas. ago. From Texas. Yep. I lived in Dallas for a year. Um and I love Louisiana. And look at you. Now we are here halfway through the show, and you have clearly what appears to be the set of the night going for you so far, talking about real-life stuff. I absolutely love the Louisiana slap-your-mama joke. 
that's hilarious. That's uh, you know that's something that you can talk about because you're from there. You get it, Theo. You're from Louisiana. What do you think about this guy? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you said Landry, I knew he was from there. That's the only place I've ever heard that name. What part are you from? I'm from Homa. Oh yeah, What's dude. That? Homa's a good place. Really, <laughs> it's a good place to have a friend. It's real soft down there. The land is real soft. Like Swamp. you could be talking to somebody and then they just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking, bro. And people are so nice, they'll listen as they just fucking go straight. (laughs) They just sink into the ground. I'd love to stay, but... (laughs) (laughs) It's just that kind of place, man. People are real friendly down there. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome, man. How long have you lived out here for, you said? Three months. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. We actually hung out after a show in Addison. Uh, you bought me food and shit, dude. I did? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, look at pretty that. Cool. Good yeah. guy, Theo Vaughn, Thanks, being man. exposed here. That's Live. nice of me. What kind I mean, of I'm glad I did something nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a seafood restaurant. We were with a, like a, I mean, I would hate to say a drunk bitch, but it was. She was with, uh, she was trying was she? to fuck you, I think. Oh, she was? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> That happens often, I guess. I don't know about <laughs> that, but people are fucking everywhere, dude. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Look at videos of different countries, dude. People are fucking all over. That's yeah. true. Every time you close your eyes, somebody said there's like 11,000 or people having sex. I never thought of that, but I guess that's right. Every time you blink, I mean, like that. Right. If you don't never think of it, then you're probably not one of the 11,000. <laughs> So, CJ, uh, again, y- last time you were here, we were talking about how you were having trouble getting over your old relationship. Have you hooked up with another girl since being out in Los Angeles? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I've actually been kind of like uh, conserving my cum because I've uh, become a sperm donor, actually. Is uh, that true? Brother. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Through the <coughs> church or was it through a group or you, how did you do it? Uh, it was through a sperm bank. It was? Yeah. Heck yeah. You it was bank through a you youth want. group. They commissioned it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. a lot of times churches will do it and keep it within the church if there's a, if they have a big group. But you right. can go bank if you want. Heck yeah, all the priests sit around doing shots all night. <laughs> 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 Look at that. We have Catholic <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins laughing at that one. That, that, that means that's a good one. Doesn't yeah, man. Laugh at those uh, Give religious Give me that books. holy water. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, when you say that you're conserving sperm, what do you mean? You just go into this well, bank and just fucking hold them hostage or something? No, what are we so talking you, about? No, so I'm trying to do it as much as I can per week, and, like, max is three, and you have to, like, stay celibate in between. Really? You can choose not to do three, but I want the money. They want that prime pop, bro. They don't you have to stay fucking. celibate to celibate? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. look at that. They don't want that diet soda, bro. They want that right. code red. Yeah, it's you pretty, it's pretty they lucrative. They the good shit. Yeah, it is, dude. If you that. like ejaculating and you like driving to a building, you'll fucking <laughs> love it. <laughs> is there, do you have a special technique when they put you in the room with a little, is it a couplet? seems like it'd be hard to shoot a load into a cup. Like, it seems like a tough oh, angle. Yeah. You oh, just, yeah. You just oh, sort of yeah. hang it over like a clan hood or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I kind of angle it like I'm filling a beer. That's yeah. kind of how I do it. Oh, okay. Because it's like you're, you're kind of doing it with one hand, and you're holding the cup with the other. So you mm-hmm. stand straight up and beat off into no, a cup? No, I put the seat cover on the seat, and I sit on the seat, and then I... What kind of seat? It's a toilet? No, it's like this plastic shit. It's like Whoa. a little plastic stool. The special kinda. chair? What it looks it? like a dressing a car room. Seat. That's what it kind of looks like. <laughs> What? It looks like a dressing room. It looks like a dressing room? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Reginald. Well, uh, I suggest you lay down on your back next time and put the cup on your belly button. Ah. <laughs> uh, you ever do that? You ever do the old... It's foolproof, gents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes that mustache acting. I feel like I'd spill it. I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So, but let me get this right, because I'm trying to get the picture painted here. So you're sitting in a special plastic chair. Is it like a patio chair? Like yeah, what are the depths? Bit. Can you show it? Can you do an act out of what it looks like when you're sitting in the chair? Just yeah. ig- just ignore Reginald so doing it's physical like, comedy you know, on you're a podcast. In a, you're in this plastic chair. Is it bottomless? Is there a bottom on the chair kind of? No, it's like a, it's kind of like a, I don't know. Is it anything like well, that what is stool? It? No, it's like a wide blue plastic chair with thin legs. Mm-hmm. How uh, tall is it? Yeah. It's probably like about this tall. Okay. So, about, so, so let's body, see. Three body. feet. You know, just sit let's on it. Right. So let's say that that's, that's the chair, okay? Yeah. We'll picture armrests. There's armrests there? No, there's no armrests. No armrests. It's just a beat-off chair. Yeah. Right. 
and it's blue. Does it have a back? No back. So no it's a back. stool. Is there yeah. a spotter in there? Or but it's against the like wall. That? It's against the wall. It's, it's against, against the wall. The wall. Yeah. It's just a public restroom. And they have a little <laughs> sink right there. There's a little sink. There's a little sink. They have lotion in there? Uh, yeah, they also have a TV on there because they have uh, DVDs that you can pop in. Oh, p- porn DVDs. Yeah. yeah. I do nev- I never want to be touching those DVDs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were sticky whenever I first opened it. Is that true? Yeah, and they weren't, they, they weren't in the sleeves at all. You just opened it up, and they were just falling all over the place. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, did they let you take your phone in there? Uh, yeah, they do. So and you, I, have you I ever looked at porn on your phone while doing it? Yeah, that's, what, that's the way oh. I do it. Cause that, I mean the, that's the way you do it. You don't want to touch the DVDs. No, they got again. magazines, DVDs. It seems old school, so I just go, you know. You go in there with your own freshy fresh, right? Oh, yeah. The right. lock of hair. I got the hits loaded. You know what I'm saying? Reginald. What is your category? Mine is poor people bagging groceries. <laughs> <laughs> What is your category? Um, I don't know, man. Yes, you do. <laughs> Mine yes, is homeless do. people crying. <laughs> <laughs> I like thick Latinas. That's my thing. Whoa, there it is. This motherfucker yeah. said he didn't know. <laughs> you remember when he said he didn't know 17 <laughs> seconds ago? <laughs> Eight seconds later, thick Latinas came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute nowhere. <laughs> 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 Don't respect the shit out of that. (laughs) (laughs) He's making it rain. Oh, Timothy Bergington. Tony, do you have a category? (laughs) You know my category. (laughs) (laughs) We've talked about it on this show before. Thank you. Yes, my big tit cream pies. (laughs) Diehard fans already know. There's something about a porn star coming inside of another porn star that just I can't figure out why I love it so much. (laughs) (laughs) That guy just said, I seen to that one. And then there was a guy on Kill Tony a few weeks ago that said that he helped with pornos. Remember that guy? Mm -hmm. And he said that uh, he said that most of the cream pies that you see in porns are fake. Uh, But I've been doing research on this and not the ones I watch. All right. The ones (laughs) I watch, I have to make sure that it's real because I. Because you have to see it. You have to see it, like, happening. Sometimes they do the thing where they're just fucking coming, and then they pull it out, and they're coming, and then they put it back in, and right. they're coming. And the chick's just fucking like, I'm disgusting. And it's beautiful. It's a work of art. Ugh. Next thing you know, I take my cup right to the front desk and get my fucking money. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And do they pay you? Is it based on do they... Are there any parameters? <laughs> they pay me every step of the way. They pay me to get my prostate check. Amen, wow. brother. Yeah. Amen. Dude, they just pay you for everything. Yeah, three hundred dollars to get a finger in the butt. Praise that was pretty God, crazy. brother. Is it like yogurt land where they weigh it? <laughs> 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 they do weigh it, I think, actually. It gets more per pound. I was insecure about how much it was at first. I mean it was really not that much compared to the cup. What if you have a drop but it's very dense? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they test it. I just remember walking up the first time and like dumping it off to the guy. So it's really it, just about purity. It's about quality. They're really they're not yeah. testing the quantity. It's more like Heisenberg levels type of count yeah. that they're looking for. Sperm like. count. Yeah. You ever weigh it down with a couple of BBs or something like that? A fifth <laughs> <of rodeo? laughs> You know what I'm saying, though, bro? Have you, you ever, ever bust when you finish uh, coming? You go, I dumped that bitch. <laughs> 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 wow. Well, CJ, look at you. You're dropping f- loads and fucking making loads. Drop that's incredible. Uh, yep. Welcome to town, man. Yeah, yeah that's that it. That's it. CJ Landry, ladies and gentlemen, way out ahead with the set of the night. Hey, CJ Landry comic on social media, all one word, CJ Landry, L-A-N-D-R-Y comic on social media. Yeah, that's fun. Huh. Okay, let's do uh, let's do one of our regulars. We have regulars on this show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is exciting stuff. This first guy, wacky dude, very silly, very funny. A lot of people either love him or they hate him. He's a very polarizing figure. I fucking love him. He cracks me up with his silly style. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Make some fucking noise for the big red machine, William Montgomery. Here he is. What's going to happen tonight? Big pop from the crowd. Nice to be here tonight, BT. (laughs) 
Uh, but seriously, first and foremost, I'd like to give a moment of silence to my brother, J.C. Penny. He was recently diagnosed with hoof and mouth disease. I, uh, I shit my pants the other day. Luckily, I was at home. Uh, last night, however, I wasn't so lucky. Hey, Teresa, what happened to my dungarees? Uh, if I have a little girl, I would like her to get involved in beauty pageants. I feel like best ages for that are three to five, just because you can really dress them up how you want, really get them in the right poses. Fuck yeah, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, money. William Montgomery, a very uh, fun set tonight. Teresa, you... how are you? Oh, he's saying hi to someone in the crowd. Teresa, how are you? He's looking at a woman who seems confused right now. No surprise there. William, how are you? I'm over here. William. I am pretty good. I'm hey. going back to Memphis uh, next week for Christmas. I'm going to miss the 420 show. Oh, you are. This is how you I tell know, me that's that, That's a huh? bad idea, William. Yeah, that is. Red being what? That's a really bad idea. You heard me the first time. Wow. I have to miss a show. Hmm. My goodness. Uh, careers, uh, so, careers, William. Careers. I can't be here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the... That Wait, sums it up, guys. My brother's sick. Is your brother sick? What's he, he sick? He has hoof and mouth disease. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if I believe that for a second. He I was kissing horses down in Mississippi outside of Jackson. I told him not to. He has all these scars on his face now. It looks like Edward Scissorhand. Oh, that's a good reference. You looked at Theo when you said that. You always try to impress the guest. You always try to Theo, see. Theo, what do you think about that one? It's, I felt like it started off good, and then I felt like you didn't, you didn't know... Even you got lost in it at the end. <laughs> but I thought it was okay. I, I'm excited all of y'all are here tonight. Theo and I were talking before the show earlier. I'm about to become his opener for his uh, Phoenix, Arizona show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you just invite yourself to open for Theo? Super excited, super sweet you did that. <laughs> William. Yeah, I was going to invite you next week at the 420 show, man. Uh. <laughs> William, this is very interesting. I can't be here next week. Oh, we had no idea. That's a show. I have a That's really when the offer sick will be brother. Here. Okay, William, uh, what's been going on in your normal life this His week? His brother died, dude. No, he's still alive. He has hoof My and bad. mouth disease. Well, he'll die soon, probably. William. William, it seems like you're ignoring me a lot this week. Uh, is everything I'm okay? I'm sorry. I've been drinking Listerine. Are you mad at me? <laughs> seems like you might be a little bit mad at me since I texted your father that you have to see a doctor. You did, and I think Larry watches all of this. I lied to him telling him I got a doctor's appointment. I didn't. I don't know how Aetna Healthcare works. Wait, you didn't get I a doctor's appointment? You were I lied about it. I need to get one. You lied to all of us. You said that it was this Wednesday. Oh, that is Christmas. No, that's a... When this oh, is yeah, that's this not. Wednesday is Christmas. Red Band stomp. I Jeez, mean, stop. my goodness. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. This is one of my better sets. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you say that and a lot. And then you throw a fucking wrench in it. Why is a Muslim person not up front? Oh, my goodness. What is that supposed to mean? That was my mean? best set last week. Oh, okay. That's right, man. You got to front load this place with some fucking decent slims, baby. You feel right. me? Absolutely. W why'd you lie to us, though? Yeah, where's Richard Slim? Yeah. <laughs> Is he Muslim? He's Muslim. He's from uh, Qatar. He's a gasoline worker at a... A gasoline worker? What the fuck, bill? William? That is so on the nose for a, <laughs> a gasoline worker, not even oil. He doesn't hear too good. He's a big reader. He reads a lot of Shel Silverstein. 
a lot of light in the attic, a lot of where are the sidewalk ends. Yeah, we've been talking online. I'm going to be in Qatar next week. I let was me, lying. Let me ask you this. If you were going to open up uh, for Theo in Phoenix, uh, can you give us an example of what your opening line would be? What Theo, you would come can up? I give you my... William, William, William. I don't know if you're paying any attention here tonight. Maybe the drinking starts a little bit earlier every week with you. Uh <laughs> Let me ask you this. If you were going to open up for Theo in Phoenix, what would be your opening line to the crowd in Phoenix? So I'm the opener. You're the feature. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery, everybody. I would have for William. Let's give it up for the Padres San Antonio. <laughs> That's a different city, William. It's the Padres are, are, are Theo here. This is probably my <laughs> bread. This is this is my bread and butter. It's a Christmas themed joke. I know I've said it before. <laughs> but Theo, I think after this one, you're going to think, oh, oh my God, he's going to open up for me. I uh, I've I, li- I like this joke, and it is holiday themed, and you're not going to Christmas be theme. I've I've got a whistling album coming out in a couple weeks. It's about what it sounds like. Just my brother and me whistling songs like Jingle Bells, the night before Christmas. Where'd the cookies go? Smells like Dad's been down here. Who put so many logs on the fire? Why does he have to drink so much? Get behind the sofa. He'll see you. Who's he yelling at? Oh, my God, what has happened? Stop saying that. Get behind the sofa. He's staring right at you. How doesn't he see you? With classics like it under the porch, I hear his truck coming up the driveway. Please eat it. He'll just get more mad if you don't. And it's not a ghost in the closet. It's just dad. There you go. How about now? He wants to. How about now? <laughs> Still no. This is the, one of the weirder things you do, William, is put people on the spot like this. That's going to open up for them. I like it, but I still, I'm um, just probably not. Yeah. <laughs> but what do I, I have it. to do? Huh? What do I have to do? That's a good question. I don't know. You always, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> you always just start talking to me real fast whenever you're drunk, and it gets on my nerves. Hey, there's a little honesty for you. Ooh, Jeremiah's clapping. You know what I'm talking about, Jeremiah? They have a weird relationship. Yes. Or Jerry. Hey, Theo. Yeah. Do you uh, eat certs? Yeah, I've, I've had a decent amount in my time. Me too. Right on, bro. Okie dokie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Another brand new Great minute from it. William Montgomery. There he goes. We're going to get back to the bucket. It's so fun. We're going to get back to the bucket in just a minute, but before we do, we have another regular, everybody. He's been absolutely on fire lately. Mind blowing writer. <laughs> absolutely incredible roasting abilities on this guy. One scary dude. I think he's absolutely a star and he's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Make some noise for the great David Lucas, everybody. Here he is. David Lucas. Here he is in the flesh, David Lucas. Yeah. I have a uh, grandmother who's half white. So, uh, I see white people in a different light than most black people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think y'all are as racist as the world try to paint y'all out to be. Like, I don't think white people are racist when they follow black people around in the grocery store. I think y'all niggas just trying to learn how to cook. <laughs> like, oh my God, did she pick up ground beef, bell peppers, and onions? Yeah, Patty, it's called a meatloaf. You should try that shit. But there's only one white lady I know that can cook, and that's Paula Dean. <laughs> For real. And the way that bitch fried chicken, she can call me a nigga. <laughs> She's like, how's that chicken, nigga? Uh, uh, good as hell, Miss Dean. Crunchy on the outside, juicy on the inside. She's like, I like it. That's my time, man. That's my goodness gracious. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
you know, just to give some perspective, if you listeners and fans of the show haven't figured it out, being a regular on this show is so much harder than being pulled out of the bucket. These people pulled out of the bucket, maybe they've been doing it for years and they're doing their best minute, or maybe they're lucky enough to get pulled twice in a few months and they get to do their second best minute. And every single week, David Lucas comes out here and lands at least one of the best jokes of the night. Yeah, you did it last week. You did it again tonight. Yeah, That's the horse you, of truth. My goodness gracious. You, you are just incredible. Yeah, what's up, Tony? So welcome back. What are you doing? Why are you eyeballing me like that? Why are you scanning me up and down? Because you look like Pee Wee Herman's <laughs> shoe. Okay, all right. That black and white jacket. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, I didn't know you know Joe Dirt's son. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker got a Cracker Barrel mop on his head. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Well, you would know. I mean, no one knows more about barrels than you do, uh, oh, David sure. Lucas. You are built like one. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Uh, what is that chain <laughs> connected to? Yeah, you is think a black guy'd be more worried about having chains on his shirt? <laughs> Man, shut your Mexican Bill Clinton looking ass. <laughs> Just play the drums, bitch. <laughs> oh, there it what is. is. What is Red Band doing? It's my mother. Did y'all spike his drink? over there doing weird shit. No, it's all good. He's oh. being silly. Oh. Uh, so welcome, welcome. What? I'm still trying to figure that out, though. That really is. That's a, a chain. A fan made this shit and sent it to me, bro. My it's like goodness. a wallet chain for yeah, your armpit. Got, uh, you know. Look at that. My God. that's what? whatever, what, whatever the opposite of Django is is what that <laughs> is. That's fucking Django too much chains. Jingo. Yeah. So you and William had a uh, show down in San Diego the yeah, other day. Man. How'd it go? It went good, man. We probably had like 85, 90 people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the guys who's been on Kill Tony opened up and hosted for us. Uh, who's Keneath? that? Keneath. Uh-huh. Black dude with a big ass afro. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. about right. Yeah. I went to Tijuana. You went to Tijuana. Man, oh, there fun. you go. Fuck yeah. What'd yeah. you do down there? Not spend a lot of money. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's only like 30 bucks to fuck yeah, a person, bro. right? Had you been there before, David? That was my first time going in like eight years. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember the last time I went. I was drunk as shit, but this was fun. Did you eat? Yeah, I ate a lot, man. What, what'd you eat? Fish. I only mm. eat fish. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I and had do, a, I had do you know what kind? Like, was it like a local? Was it like a regional? I went to this place called Lionfish. It's Ooh. in downtown Tijuana. Ooh. Not too far from Hong Kong, the strip club for all you nasty motherfuckers. Uh, very good. Okay. <laughs> Ari Manis goes there all the time. Yeah, he does. He yeah. loves that. He has show. a residency down there. I think. Yeah. No, <laughs> hey, bro, you, you can buy a bottle of liquor for like twenty dollars. Like, it's it's cheap, bro. That's like. Did cheap. you? Did you buy liquor? Down Hell there? yeah. And you and William probably got fucking. William couldn't come because he ain't had no passport. Oh yeah, yeah I, I don't know how it now works. <laughs> what a nightmare. What a nightmare. My goodness. So what did what, what William do? He just stayed in San Diego? Yeah, he was with Ke- Keneath. How do you say that nigga name? Keneath. Keneath, yeah. Keneath with that. Sat at the border with binoculars. I was looking <laughs> all over the border. Picture me and David Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> having sex with some mamacitas. Uh, Jaws to the revenge. I love it. Nah, he, uh, yeah, he stayed in San Diego, did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Chill. How long were you in Tijuana for? Like four hours, but I almost missed the show, bro, because getting I didn't know it was gonna take so long to get back over the border. It took like two and a half hours. Right. That shit was crazy, man. I almost missed the show. I got to the the show started at nine thirty. I got to the club at nine oh eight. My wow. goodness, right. who would have guessed a guy that looks like you would be running late for his show? Oh. My goodness <laughs> gracious! There we go. Shocking. I would have guessed. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I know you would have guessed, motherfucker. My goodness. So what else has been going on in life, David? How's everything else? You getting ready for the holiday season? Yeah, be honest with us, David. Yeah. About what? Just about the holiday. Like, do you have big plans? What do you have? I mean, just buy my daughter a bunch of shit. My birthday on December 28th. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Telling us it's your birthday. I mean... It's nice, is man. There something, is there something you want for your birthday? I mean, we know you eat cake daily, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, I, I don't know, man. I, I like pretty what? Much, is there I anything? I pretty much get everything I want. Like what? Yeezys. Whoa, Yeezys. yeah. You're going to have to ask Santa for that one. Yeah. <laughs> or ask my mama. Hell yeah. Shit, she said, I'm still a mama's boy. You, know you go back home for Christmas? Or nah, fuck that. Do they ever send you gifts or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my cool. mama drops some money in my bank account for me and my daughter. God damn. Fuck yeah. yeah. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, you you got a understand. cool mama. Oh, yeah. She's going to buy my daughter an iPad for Christmas. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. 
Do you have an iPad? Yeah, I got like two. Damn. Oh wow! And a MacBook. I mean, I mean, I'm you could have just given black. your daughter one of those, but... Uh, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to buy her the mini. Oh, the okay. smaller one. I got the big ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, man. Thank you, bro. What you going to get for Christmas? I don't know. My sister just asked me today, but I didn't... I don't want to text her back, dude. I just... <laughs> I'd rather not get anything from her. You should ask Santa Claus for a mustache. You think? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think he looks good. What's yeah. wrong with this look? He yeah. lost his mustache <laughs> drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could drink beer, man. Well, I you fucking can't buy drink cocaine. From Louisiana. Uh-uh. I know, but I buy cocaine, man. I'm, a dr- I'm addicted to drugs and alcohol. So if I have a half a beer, dude, I will have seven bottles of cocaine. Yeah. So <laughs> I can't do it. But what am I getting for Christmas? I know what I'm getting, dude. I'm getting a shirt. My brother's getting me a shirt. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and what else, man? What kind of shirt? Know. Huh? What kind of shirt? A uh, large, large, large shirt. shirt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this motherfucker crazy. No, <laughs> it's true. It's Do you man. wear those shirts with like wolves hollering at the moon? <laughs> 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 no, but my mother does though. Oh, okay. Been... Uh, so I might get my mom a fresh piece of turquoise. You know, oh. your family uh, uh, turquoise. Well, you Thanks. like half Indian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm 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 a, I'm a little bit Nicaraguan, but. Fuck out of here, and man. You want to say that's not a racial slur. That's he want to say nigga so bad. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> dude. I don't say, say it, man. Unless you do, you. you know what I'm saying, boy. I'm joking. <laughs> you got I the never, voice I never of a nigga it. that owned my granddad. <laughs> <Nah, dude. laughs> I never say it first, bro. Yeah, yeah, you sound like the nigga from Wonderland. I don't know. Oh, I haven't Django. seen that yet. My no, goodness. I would never do any slavery or nothing like that, bro. Ever. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Look, bro. I promise you that, dude. You I ever, promise you, bro. And you know that. You know you, I. Wa- you probably like, got a back tattoo of a Confederate flag. <laughs> 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 no, dude, it, it's uh, it ran. That's the problem. You got truck nuts on your car? <laughs> oh, no, man. no truck nuts. So. <laughs> 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 David. No, bro. <laughs> I got, can't do any of that you shit. Got a, you got one of them shits that say Confederate pride on your back. Okay, <laughs> David, David. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, David. Do What's you up? think that Santa Claus is white or black? That's a black. He's black, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Coming down my chimney. Yep. <laughs> Sneaking in. <laughs> Doing that shit while you sleep? That's yep. a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's got to be on time. Yeah, yeah. That nigga ain't never on time. He's only works be there one on the day 25th. out of the year. One day like out of the fucking theory. year. Oh, it's only funny when the black guy says it? All right. It's racist if I say yeah, it. Bro. That's a nigga, bro. Yeah. He fucks a fat white chick, too. He a- <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Red band. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny, Red band. Red band. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Red band. Red band stealing the show. Yeah, he says something funny. All the lights go crazy. There's pyro and shit. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> That was my fun. Yeah, God. Santa's a black person, man. Wow. My goodness gracious. Yeah, Weaving yeah. colon stocking seems like something a black guy would do, right? Nah, I think a black person leaves some fucking switches. Hey, mm-hmm. I like that idea. All right. I don't know if white people know what switches are. Nintendo S- Switch. Yeah, I have Switch one. Or sweet? You talking about Switch or Sweets? The blunt wraps? Switch. That's like when your mom about to beat your ass, she'd be like, go get a Switch. Tear it off the tree. Yeah, mm. no. Y'all motherfuckers get time out. No, no. We got belts, man. Yeah. Tony, our, go to your room for thirty minutes. Our moms all our moms all had belts. We don't we're not all lucky enough to have moms that can only wear sweatpants yeah. throughout their lives like <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, man. Regin- my my yeah. grandpa used to paint us black and beat us, I remember. Is that oh. true? My oh grandfather. my goodness, that's incredible. I believe that shit. Reginald Fontaine, the third. I can totally <laughs> relate. When we got in trouble as children, mother would exile us to one of the neighboring islands. Bro, that's the dude. That's the slave guy. Look at him, man. But listen to you. <laughs> nah, man. You gotta <laughs> Wait, let's let's do an exercise. How about I open my mouth and move it while you talk to okay, you? Sorry. He's you the one like underwriting uh, it, though. You sound like Robert E. Lee, grandson. He's the one underwriting it. Uh, is he moving his lips? I can't yeah. see. All right. He is. That's a different, like corporate that's 
something different. Yeah, but they're doing. They're You're more hands on. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers just pay black people less. <laughs> yeah, see? That's what they're doing, man. Yeah. I would never have a slave, man. I wrote it down somewhere early. Yeah, they have it right here. <laughs> he did. He wrote it down. He says, I will never own a slave. Yeah, That's man. what this says. And I underlined it, bro. Yep. Man, yes, he did. <laughs> Made it bold. Yeah, yeah that, that purple Exclamation s- point. The purple sweatshirt throw your slave feng shui <laughs> oh, off. Yeah, there you go. It does, man. Right? That negates you having a slave. Yeah. I, That's true. Is it, perp- n- is it purple or do you consider that grape? <laughs> All right, we got to keep it moving. <laughs> y- Lord knows I could spend all night up here with right, David Lucas, right, but we got to get, get a couple more uh, bucket pulls. We went to the regulars yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, quick yeah, tonight. Yeah. Come on, people. David Lucas, everybody. That's as good as it gets right there. You're going to see this guy on everything. HBO specials, Netflix. You're going to say you saw him here on Kill Tony. Back to the bucket we go. What do you guys say, huh? How about you back there in the upper deck? How you guys doing back there? You good? That's some half-ass energy coming from the cheap seats back there, huh? You guys feel a little disconnected from the show? What? All right. Make some noise for your next comedian, Frankie Hoy. This is a new name. I'd remember this one if I saw it before. Frankie the back corner. Hoy from the Lucky Table. People from that area always get picked. Here he comes. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We're coming around the bend. This is it. Kill Tony live. Frankie Hoy. Hey, this is the shit, man. Fuck yeah. I'm, I'm spending way too much money on street food, man. But Street food is the shit, though, right? Like, street food is so good, we ignore all health code violations for it. Straight up. Like, if you go to Subway, and the guy making your Subway sandwiches and wearing any gloves... That's fucking disgusting that I'm out of here. But if you go to a taquero down the street, and the guy making your tacos isn't wearing any gloves, you're like, uh, these are going to be good. <laughs> these are going to be good. Dude, I fucking, uh, <laughs> I saw an ugly person with a hickey. You ever seen this shit? <laughs> that shit caught me out. I was what the fuck? You didn't see that shit about ugly people with hickey? He was like, oh. Because <laughs> a regular looking person with a hickey? You're like, ah, cover that shit up. You don't got a job or what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Ugly person with a hickey. I was like, good for you. <laughs> good for you. Fuck, I don't know. Dan went to a funeral. Oh, fuck it. Frankie, Frankie. Hoy. <laughs> making oh, his yeah. Kill Tony debut. I would remember you, Frankie Hoy, but this is your first time here, correct? Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Welcome, welcome. Your eyes are small for your head. Has anyone ever <laughs> told you that before? Your eyes are like two sizes too small. You look like someone who like created a player in a video game and then gave up. Like They're just like, oh, hey, I forgot to adjust something. I can't remember what. It was the eyes. Your, your eyes are set to small. And everything else is a uh, regular size. Frankie Hoy, um, you are Mexican? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. There he is. Look at that. There, slow clap as always. <laughs> um, b- born here though. You're from here in uh, Los Angeles. I could tell you're Mexican. You look like you were born in center field of Dodger Stadium. I mean, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now nah, Myrna Valley. I just moved out here from Riverside. Oh hell yeah, Paris. Mexican as shit. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Riverside, definitely. Uh, what is your? Uh, what do your parents do? My dad's a truck driver, and my mom is a crossing guard at an elementary school. Mexican as shit. Absolutely. <laughs> crossing guard. Crossing guard's cool, man. Yeah. yeah. Crossing what? what? The border? <laughs> 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 One of the did. easier gigs in the world, right? Crossing guard? I don't think so, Not dude. Anymore. You daydream a little when they got fucking kids. No, dude. On your lead, bro. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. No, some dude, well, she, uh, she works out in Paris. Uh, some dude like recently like, pulled up in her car. And she was like, yo, like, back up, back up. He's like, nah, like, I got shot. She's like, what the fuck? And she looked over, and like, his arm was all bleeding and shit. Like, he legit got shot. And, like, later on that night, like, two blocks over, two people got shot by the same person. Wow. Mm-hmm. So he was just trying to get away. It was in the news and everything. Damn. Wow. Damn. Crossing guard where? Like, Burbank doesn't have this. Like, wh- No. It was in Paris. Paris. Was Lake like Paris, not oh. in France. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 
Well, you just don't know where they have crossing arts, Brian, because you're not allowed within 500 feet of a school. So <laughs> it's hard to... That's true. You can't get that you close to them. I was a crossing guard when I was six, though. That's so weird that your mom... You were six? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure they didn't just tell you you were a yeah, crossing yeah. guard? <laughs> <laughs> like... Our elementary, yeah, bro. our elementary you were school. Just a kid. Our who's elementary a, who's school a big boy a, crossing guard? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. You made fifty bucks yeah, today man. being a crossing oh, guard. <laughs> bro, you wasn't a real cross. No, they guard. like our elementary school. When you're a sixth grader, you you were the crossing guard during like lunchtime really? and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. Who's cross- <laughs> I mean, Who's it's crossing during lunchtime? What? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's like Bernie Sanders. Tell everybody they're a crossing <laughs> guard. You know, they're like, we got to figure out something for this Brian Redband kid to do during lunchtime. He's uh, <laughs> eating too much. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe you were Brian. I, I don't. I wasn't. No, I, was. I know that's funny. You were a six-year-old crossing guard. Did they pay you? <laughs> no. What a dog shit job. Yeah, I don't, under, I don't understand Zoom. why, but it was uh, during lunchtime because yeah. we, we, we were allowed to go home at lunch in <laughs> elementary school <laughs> or, or Taco Bell down the street. It was fucking This is weird. how we find out <laughs> Brian was homeschooled. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, what do you do for work? I'm a truck driver as well. Whoa. Fuck, you, fuck yeah. yeah. If uh, Jeremiah and I drove by you and went like that, what would you do? I would do it. What the fuck? Yeah. Goddamn motherfucking right you would. Yeah, surprisingly enough, uh, so adults only like kids don't do that anymore to me. It's I just know. Adults. I know. And uh, yeah. adults love it. We l- they laugh and they give you the thumbs yeah, up afterwards, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's some fucking real Midwest uh, yeah. shit right there. I'm from Ohio. He's from Kansas. Nice. We've traveled the entire country together and we love making trucks honk. Oh, the police are here for you, Frankie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So what else is going on with your life? What do you like to do for fun? This Drink with the homies. But I've been cutting it down. Drink with the homies? Yeah. Do you do drugs as well? No, no. I don't know drugs. Just drink. Yeah. What do you Alcohol the, is a drug. What do you and the homies <laughs> like to do after uh, doing some drink? Do you guys have any hobbies? you guys play uh, cornhole or anything like that? or uh, Violence, huh? No. <laughs> And now we just talk shit, but um, yeah. I l- fucking I live in a van. That's interesting. Oh yeah, in you oh, do. Yeah. You live yeah. in a van. Yeah, I fucking because I was I moved out from Riverside out here, but like, I live in a van down by the Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How Not, long? How long have you lived in the van for? Dude, a month and like um, like two days. And you can do whatever. It's just you in there. Yeah, yeah. But you have like a van made or anything. I'm sorry. You have a <laughs> van made. Oh, van made. Yeah, like a s- no, person no, living in there. No, no, like like when I'm when I live in an apartment, it would get like messy and shit. But like in a van, like as soon as it gets messy, I get anxiety, so I clean it up really fast. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I once the van. spent a uh, once spent a good part of a summer uh, sleeping in my car when I very first got out here and start. Well, not when I got out here, but when I started stand up comedy, mm-hmm. uh, I was working here all day and working shifts at a coffee shop and. I just had it all figured out. I slept in the car, would shower back here, actually, in this main room, green room, when the cleaning crew would get here at 5 a.m. I'd be in there when the sun came up, and Mm. it was one of the most organized times in my life. I mean, you get up, and you fold your fucking blanket. You put it in the trunk with all your folded, clean clothes. I mean, there was never, like, you you just, you didn't, you can't get behind there, or else you're a fucking, or else you have nothing Mm -hmm. once you lose control of it all. So that's interesting. You do your laundry a lot? Yeah, on the Mexican weekends. is fuck. You fell back <laughs> into another trap. No, I'm kidding. I can't relate to any of these stories. <laughs> <laughs> so how long in the van now? A month and two days. Wow. And, and two you're days. from Van Nuys? Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> no, and does the van at night, do people bother you? Does it have a ladder on the back or anything? No, no, no. I, I park it I, in a, uh, right in front of where I work, like, so like a very industrial area, so a bunch of trucks are always passing by. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing. No one bothers you there. Yeah. That's a good spot. How do you take care of the showers and uh, whatnot? Uh, the gym or my home, I have, like other comedians just go sh- to their apartment shower. You ever use the gym or you just use it for the shower? Uh, well, I mean, I like, well, my work is kind of a gym as well. Like I pick up recycled tires and shit, throw them. Okay. So I get really, th- so it's like my, r- my work is a workout and then mm-hmm. uh, after works. I mean, I haven't, fuck, I came here. Right after work, I'm still dirty. You, have a, you have a what? What did you just show me there? Oh, like my arms are all black and shit still from work. Oh. So like, uh, pr- I'll probably like shower tomorrow uh, after work. Right. Or something That's cool, bro. It doesn't look that black to me. David Lucas was up here before <laughs> you, so uh, <laughs> my uh, my contrast is a little bit off. You look you you look whiter than Reginald Fontaine the Third to me right now. 
<coughs> Frankie, what's another thing before I let you go that we should know about you? Another fun fact about Frankie Hoy. Mm, living in that. Something interesting? You have any special skills uh, or talents? Yeah. You play any instruments or anything like that? Nah, I, I, I play like La Bamba on guitar. Like I play oh it yeah. and I play it and then people will be like, oh, it's tight. Could I play some more? I'm like, no, it's like I'm, I'm Mexican good. Mexican as shit. <laughs> I mean, La, wow. La Bamba. Name, La Bamba, like it, it, on an actual, like on an acoustic guitar. Yeah, or like a regular guitar. But no, but just, just the intro, just the intro. I'm not gonna. Just the intro, yeah. Yeah, like That's so all you need, bro. What do you mean, just the intro? Would you be willing to give bum, us bum, an bum, example bum, of what that yeah. sounds like? Yeah, bro. Yeah. To get a Latino Jeez. wife, that's all you need, bro. Here we go. The mics in the mic stand. Chroma Chris, team player, always down to. Uh, <laughs> to I know who I'm hanging out with after the show. Yeah, this is it. Let's see what happens here. Can we get a mic up to this? Can you help us with uh, the audio here, Reginald? No, it's okay. It's not anticlimactic at all. Ooh, this is exciting. Ooh, they're getting advice from a fellow Mexican here. Fuck That's yeah, great. look at that. That's beautiful, man. Can I get a coffee for work? What's that? Yeah. Can I get a coffee for work tomorrow? Absolutely. It, Nitro oh, Caveman yeah. Coffee. Absolutely. Use the promo code KILLTONY. Save 20%. Uh, go to CavemanCoffeeCompany.com. Uh, there he goes. You're, uh, Frankie Hoy, everybody. <laughs> look, we're running out of time. You guys think one more? All right, one more. We're going to get through it real quick here. Make some noise for Egan Robinson, everybody. Egan Robinson, E-J-A-N. Egan, come on, make room for Egan, people. Where is he coming from here? Make room for him, people. Here he comes. Make room for Egan, everyone. Here he comes. Here comes Egan. This is very exciting. This is another, nervous, bro. I believe, first timer here on Kill Tony. Your final comedian of the night, his name is Egan Robinson. Come on. Yeah. So I uh, I read all the Twilight books. All of them. And uh, not once did any of them mention, perhaps, the greatest threat to the vampire community, AIDS. <laughs> You think a race of creatures that drink people blood to survive didn't contract the AIDS virus? That's the real reason you don't see vampires out in the daylight. Most of them died in the 90s. Rest in peace. Easy E. Um, there aren't a whole lot of things from the Bible you can say today that would make sense out of context, but I think calling someone the king of the Jews is still a pretty good insult. <laughs> wow, look at this. Wow. What's up? Very impressive. A lot of people, a lot of people on this show, uh, they come up here and they really desperately try to get laughs and very rarely do I think the jokes are smart. And I think uh, you're a pretty smart writing dude. How old are you? I'm 24. 24. Yeah. Wow. You look so young. That's incredible. Where are you from? You. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. What is this? It's a very Louisiana-themed show we have here wow. tonight. Who that, do it, baby? Who that? Do we you travel <laughs> as a group, motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. This is true gang gang tonight. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Mike. Katrina, we're displaced <laughs> still. <laughs> 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 Katrina! <laughs> God, you're a badass, Theo. Uh, are you just visiting or you live here now? No, I live here now. How long have you lived here? I've been here, here for uh, almost a year now. One year. How long have you been doing stand-up? Eight months. Eight months. Wow. Oh, shit. Look out, dude. This guy's coming for all our spots. Egan Robinson, 24, doing it eight months. Already have two great jokes. It's incredible. <laughs> what do you do for work? Uh, I work at a cryotherapy studio. Fuck yeah. So I, uh, yeah, I freeze people. Cold as ice. And yeah. what do y'all freeze when you guys are doing it? What do you guys freeze? It's, uh, wh what do you mean? Like, what do we use to freeze people? Or like, what, 
What do does you, it get rid of? I think Theo's wondering what you freeze what for you fun f- when people aren't in there. Like, what are things? Oh, it's not like? dead bodies. It's not like Walt oh, Disney's Oh, like living head. people. Oh, it's yeah. not like, like living people walk in and they stand in a uh, chamber. Oh, I and thought And they you spray like nitrogen gas at them for three minutes. Is it real or fake, though, being frozen? Does it do something for people? Do you really it, think it does it, something for people or do you right. think it's fake? I will say a lot of it is fluff, but it does do a lot of good for people. <laughs> um, yeah. It's good for like inflammation and pain and a lot of people have like arthritis and stuff and... Over time, it helps with like <laughs> depression and anxiety, so that's pretty cool. So they really, they, yeah, yeah, I think so. Basically, everything CBD does. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can go to infinitecbd.com right now. Use the code Tony15 <laughs> at thirty percent off for the holidays. It's incredible. Did you start comedy down in New Orleans, or no? You started no, here. No, I started here. Oh, that's cool, yeah. man. Started that, in March. That is nice. awesome. That is mm-hmm. absolutely awesome. What do you like to do for fun? What's a twenty-four-year-old do for fun nowadays? Um, I don't really do a whole lot here. I mean, I like to. I don't know. I don't. What do were you gonna say there? there? You I almost. I was gonna something. say like I watch Netflix, but that's just really boring. I listen to podcasts a lot. Yeah. Listen to at this past weekend. Uh, yeah, of course, of <laughs> course. But like, come on, give us something here. Like, there must be some hobby or special skill or talent um, or something. No, I mean I like to read every now and then. I'm really not that my, interesting. My do you God. own any humans? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I do not. Hey, you. Uh, you have a girlfriend? No. Have you? Uh, when's the last time you had a, a girlfriend? Never. Never? Wow, Maybe. really? Not yeah. once. Have you have you kissed a girl since being here in Los Angeles? Yes, I have. Oh, there you fuck. go, bro. God damn it. That would have been, gr- that that been a great work, out. Dog. Drop that face work on them. <laughs> who'd, you, who'd you kiss? How'd you do that? Um, Ooh. Uh, it was a prostitute? No, no. Um, like here, honestly, here, the only girl I kissed was like in March. Yeah. Yeah, so, what happened uh, in March? Um, I went out in Santa Monica and... Uh, we went to some like karaoke place. We went to the Gaslight. Oh yeah, then, Gaslight's uh, awesome. Dude. Yeah, it's pretty cool, dude. That place is fucking crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we got a lift back to her place, and then we like went after it. What'd you do? I like that. Uh, you naughty little boy, you. Tell me what you did. We with didn't this sleep girl. together. She was on our period, but you know we didn't. Amen. Oh, oh shit. A tale as old as time. So how far did you get? What you, what'd you end up doing? She end up uh, she end up what? giving you the old fucking. Dude, honestly, we like dry humped. It was the weirdest thing. Yeah. Did you, all right. Did you people comp? do that all the time? No, no, no. There's you nothing didn't. wrong with that. Did she ruin your jeans? What? Did she spill on your jeans or anything? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, Next time, Jesus. have sex with a girl, and the cleanup is on me. <laughs> oh, look at that, Reginald. That's exciting, dude. That's that's March has been a it's been a bit though, huh? So yeah, you're not, are you chasing women out there? Are you doing all of that? Um, here, it, it's kind of hard because you need like money to go out, right. and so like that's been the main, my main crux, really. So you kissed a girl in Santa Monica, but you've never kissed a girl in Hollywood. Am I correct on that? Yes. Well, you know what, my friend, we have to end this show somehow, <laughs> and uh, I mean. <laughs> this is the part of the night where I have to ask. I mean, look at this cute little 24 year old. He's as innocent as it gets. Is there a lady out we'll there a that's a fan a man, of Kill we'll Tony? There's one man. right here. Look at this. Oh, damn. We got a live one right here. Hell yeah. Hell Put yeah. that mic back in the mic stand. Wow. So you guys are going to square up just like this. Look at this. She's pretty cute, too. Look at these. She's got some bouncers there. He's got a boner. Wow. All right. Praise e- God, e- brother. E- this e- is beautiful. Egan is as hard as a rock right now. Ladies and gentlemen, 24-year-old. Amen, Here brother. we go. His first Hollywood yeah. kiss. Yeah. Woo. Fuck we did yeah, it again. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yes. That's how we do it. And that's another episode that's of Kill Tony. That's beautiful. Ladies, Come on, ladies and gentlemen, good. how loud can this place get for the great Theo Vaughn? There you go. This past weekend, a new episode coming out this week with Thug Nasty. How about one more time for his first Hollywood kiss, Egan Robinson? How about one more time, our first time ever at the Comedy Store, Ashley Hackett, everybody. Give it a big kiss. Bringing us home tonight. Uh, here he is, the leader of the band, Reginald Fontaine. It's actually Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. 
He's got dates coming up continuously. He's headlining Kansas City, Chicago, Detroit, Albany, and a bunch of other places. JeremiahWalkins.com for tickets. A new episode of Jeremiah Wonders just came out at midnight with Rick Glassman. And episode 100 of Jeremiah Wonders is coming out right now. Is there anything that I'm missing? Jeremiah, stand up. Jeremiah Watkins. Uh, yes, uh, the calendar is in the front. Uh, yes. 33% off currently if you'd it's like <laughs> to get a physical copy here at the Comedy Store. It's on clearance, ladies and gentlemen. The 2020 Big Gay Brand Calendar. How about a hand for Chroma Chris, everyone? It was him. He was Roger McWater the entire time. And Chroma, what do you think about tonight's episode? It was rich, Tony. <laughs> and there he is, the one, the only, Joelberg Joel Jimenez, everyone. Come on. He did it again. He's mostly sorry on all social media. He's an official Ludwig artist, so uh, check him out on everything that he does. Calgary, San Antonio, Houston, Vancouver, La Jolla, Tempe, Kill Tony East. It's all coming at you. Go to DeathSquad.tv or TonyHinchcliffe.com for tickets to all that. I'm also doing stand-up in a lot of those cities. TonyHinchcliffe.com for tickets to that. It's like our last chance to get the Ryan, uh, to get the Kill Tony book for your Kill Tony fan in right. your life for Christmas. That's at RyanJEBelt.com. Look at tonight's drawing. Look what he did. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, that is just beyond cool. It's frightening how good he's getting every single week. Every print of every show is available at RyanJEBelt.com. And uh, next week is it, guys. This is it. Special secret 420 episode. If you've ever smoked pot in your life, you might want to be You're here for that one. You're going to want to go to this one, guys. Yeah, it's a very, very special one. I can't tell you who the guest is. It got bumped back a week. So if anybody bought tickets for that for tonight, we substituted for Theo. That's getting bumped back to next week. So congratulations and apologies. Uh, live audience, we love you so much. We're doing something crazy here. This room's not supposed to be filled every Monday at 8 p.m. Yeah. And uh, we're making history here. So thanks for being part of it. We love you. Good night. Thanks, guys. Red Band. <laughs>